is it it does to a defense when there's two talented tight ends on the field at the same time you you have to you have to worry about uh it's, it's difficult because you could go either way you go outside you go inside um it's definitely uh you will want to play everything you do you got to play everything true because each guy on the field is a threat and uh you gotta be able to when you have that one-on-one -on -one matchup you gotta be able to play your best at it you know because uh each guy's out there is talented and uh We've been seeing it firsthand, but uh, the competition level is great. Uh, it helps us get better for sure on defense side. And it gets you guys better. And I know you're worried about yourselves, but are there any moments you guys go off to the sideline and go, I, this is going to be tough for, <laughs> for teams to handle just you're getting a chance to see it first? I mean, we, we, uh, it, I mean, we, we speak about it here and there, but when we out there, it's really fun for us because – uh, it, it, we competing against those guys, and we know how great they can be. And uh, it, all it does is, like I said, it helps us get a lot better, and it's fun. It's a uh, it's real fun competition out there, and uh, that's what we we really love it. Uh, when you when you when you out there, you can see the the communication, the talking, the going back and forth, and the uh, the competing, the battling. You know, uh, it just it's just fun to be a part of. Our right, next question is from Greg Allman. Hey, Levante, I know it's a, a safety issue as much as it is a linebacker issue, but to see the, the depth of the tight ends this team has on offense now, mm -hmm. what are the challenges when you have a team line up with, with two tight ends as talented as what your opponents will face this year? Uh, it's challenging. Uh, it's going to be challenging, man, because it, it creates mismatches. Sometimes you may have to put, you know, some people, quote, unquote, say uh, linebackers are not athletic, enough, uh, not, athletic, like, not athletic enough to cover tight ends, but – and then DBs are too small to cover tight ends. But, you know, it just create a mismatch issues for the offenses. Uh, some person that you got all three guys out there. Some person that you got two guys out there. Uh, it just create a mismatch issues for different defenses. And defenses have to scheme up and, uh, like I said, play play one guy one way and then probably leave open a different guy. So uh, all those guys being not that all it does is help one another. And, uh, you know, uh, Tom, Tom will find the open guy for sure. So, uh, all it does is get those guys better as well and uh, allow them to uh, perfect their craft too as well. Okay, our next question is from Jenna Lane. Levante, great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank um, you. You've been through this with this organization through a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Mm -hmm. Seems like more downs. You haven't had an opportunity to taste the postseason yet. Mm -hmm. Do you allow yourself with the arrival of guys like Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski and the growth mm -hmm. of, of some of the young defensive guys around you, do you allow mm -hmm. your mind to kind of go there and think, wow, you know, just think about some of the possibilities that this year brings? I mean, with, with, with the stuff that we've done, you know, defensively uh, last year and then uh, what we brought in offensively this year, you will, you will say you will want to, but I, I can't do that just because of some fact of just all the stuff that's just, just that's just last year and then we haven't even played a game yet with the new guys. So um, all I try to do is just focus on what I have to focus on right now, and that's for us to get better day by day. And uh, that's something that we definitely emphasize. Uh, it's going to be an all-guy effort week in and week out. I mean, we it's been a lot of teams in the past where – been a lot of teams in the past that – we had a great roster that I played on. So, and then it didn't work out the way we wanted. So we have to be able to put everything together. And, and then at the end of the season, we'll see if we're in the postseason or not. But uh, like I said, uh, it, it looks good right now. It looks good, but we have to play a football game first. And what have you seen out of the screen game this year versus last year? Coach Arian seemed to be pretty encouraged by what he saw last mm -hmm. year, but do you feel like it's progressed? Do you feel like it's gotten more dynamic? Uh, during, during the practice, they work it a lot. And uh, it, it, a lot of different guys get a chance to touch the ball. Uh, you don't know who it's going to go to. So they've been doing a great job of drawing that up or whatever. So whenever they have that in the game plan, uh, it, 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 it could be effective. Thank you. Our next question is from Ed and Cena. Hi, Levante. I know that you, know, you kind of served as, as a mentor to Devin White, and I know that you do a pretty good impression of him too. But um, does uh, how, how has he been this camp? Has he been different than he was maybe as a rookie last year? And um, you know, where have you kind of seen his growth? And just kind of what's what do you think is the next step for him as a as a second year player? Uh, he's growing day by day, man. You know, he's uh, taking on the role of being more of a leader. Uh, he's talking more. He's been more encouraging. He's been more uh, being more uh, interactive with guys. 
from the front end to the back end, just learning as much as you can for about different, each position, understanding the defense more and uh, asking a lot of questions, asking a lot of questions, just trying to be trying to be more involved so he can be able to play fast the way he know how to play and uh, make the plays that he know he can make. Uh, you know, last year he's seen the plays that he made, that he made, so he's trying to make even more. You know, he has a goal that he's trying to reach, and uh, by, by reaching that goal, he's just trying to make himself better by also helping his teammates around him and making his teammates better. And uh, once we all better, you know, the defense is better, and uh, because the sky's the limit for everybody. Okay, next is going to be Steve Isbitz. Levante, you've got a thousand tackles, and you're 30 years old now. How are you feeling, and what did you do differently this off season to prepare? Um, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, all this all season to prepare has been really difficult uh, because of the COVID thing. You didn't, I didn't know what the situation was like at the gyms that I work out, but uh, I ended up finding a place that I could work out at for the time being. And then uh, for the summer, I went to uh, where I usually work out at in uh, Arizona. Uh, the gyms was open there. So I was able to um, get in as much as I could throughout that time. And then also uh, just try to, you know, change the way I eat a little bit more because, you know, at the beginning of COVID, it was just, wasn't really enough time to work out because things were strictly shut down. So a lot of stuff I had to do on my own. So I was uh, just finding places to go on my own and uh, work out that way without, you know, no structure or anything. Then once everything started to get structured, I was able to adjust and uh, get myself in uh, where I need to be. And how is Tom Brady's leadership, just the leadership end of it, different mm -hmm. from what you're used to? Uh, just, uh, it's different, man. Tom's a, a laid back guy, but when he's out there, man, when he's on the field where he's taking the snaps or not, he's real competitive. And you, and you see it, uh, he's encouraging guys. He's talking to guys out the routes. Uh, he, he's talking, communicating a lot, man. It's just, it's just awesome to see, you know, um, and guys are taking it and, uh, it's just, once he, once you tell you those guys, like once he tell you like what to do or whatever, like those guys don't mess up anymore. So it's kind of, it's kind of fun to see him and like just watching it, you know, actually being here, seeing it is, is incredible to be a part of, man. And, uh, you can see a lot of guys just taking heed to it and everybody just uh, gravitating to him. Once he, uh, once he talks, everybody listens, everybody just taking all the advice that they can. Okay. Next is going to be Zach Lovner. Hey, Levante, good to see you. Good to chat with you again here. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you about the Saints specifically. Obviously, the big week one matchup coming around the corner. And the chatterbox, uh, Cam Jordan over there, has already said that the Bucs are fighting for second place in the division. Um, you've been going up against the Saints for your whole career. You've seen them a lot. Just want to get your reaction to, to his comments on the Bucs mm -hmm. fighting for second place and mm -hmm. what you're telling the younger guys about Drew Brees and going up against such a good quarterback that early in, no. the, in the year. Yeah, every time we play the Saints, man, we're going. It's going to be a battle. Uh, it's going to be a team that obviously we want to knock off. Uh, they won the division last year, and we're trying to get there. You know, respectfully. You know, he said what he said, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, it, it's no really number one right now. Everybody's at zero right now, so uh, and we're trying to get that top spot. But uh, you know, the Saints are going to be the Saints at the end of the day. They got they have a veteran team, and they're going to do what they do. And um. Uh, we have a lot of young guys who, who did play against them last year and they know what to expect now. So uh, hopefully that'll be a difference uh, this upcoming uh, uh, week one. But uh, everybody know uh, what, what they're going to bring and uh, we know that we have to bring our A game. Okay, next is going to be Rick Stroud. Hey, Levante, um, you know, with this compressed uh, sort of training camp, no preseason games and that, it seems like you guys are getting with the first group a lot of reps, right? When mm -hmm. you're going, mm -hmm. but then you have these veteran days off. Mm -hmm. um, Bruce seems to have been a guy that's always kind of taken care of, of veteran players. What, what does that mean to you? And, and how, how much has that helped you? Or would you rather like, Hey, let me see as much as I can until we start the season. Uh, uh, I mean, it's good. It's good for a lot of guys who are, or, you know, older guys and up in, uh, in years of uh, playing in the league. And uh, got some guys be needing it, and then some guys, you know, sometimes opt out and don't, don't need it. Uh, for me, you know, it, it's new to me. It's very rare that I have been getting uh, vet days. But uh, every time, you know, it comes up, it kind of catches me off guard, like, you know, yeah. a vet day sometimes. But uh, at the end of the day, it, it's good for me. He's helping me, helping me recover whatever I need to recover on and helping me uh, just take a, a day to get a lot of mental work that I need. So. Uh, it's definitely helpful, and uh, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of guys like it. 
and um, a lot of guys are doing what they're supposed to do with it. And uh, it gives guys a chance to come back, you know, fresh the next day or whatever, and get a lot, got a lot of guys a chance to be fresh, ready for the season. You met, you mentioned Brady, um, you know, and, and how encouraging he's been. But then, like we saw uh, last week or this, I can't remember what week it was. You know, he throws a touchdown to Godwin. They mm -hmm. go up, you know, he hugs them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the run game the other day when he got in, he spins by. Are you surprised by the enthusiasm that he displays sometimes on the field? Not really. Not really, because when I first spoke to him, that's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he's going to bring. He's going to bring enthusiasm. He's going to be competitive, and uh, it's going to be a battle. Basically, when we out there, offense against defense, he's going to do his best to beat us, and we're going to do – I told him we're going to do our best to beat him. And that's what it's been, and that's what's making it real fun. And uh, it's, it's, it's an ongoing battle every time we're out there. You know, when he makes a play, he's uh, hooting and hollering and screaming. And then I say something to him, and then we come back, and uh, we'll make a play, and I'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. So it's a, it's fun to be a part of, man. We, we're getting out there battling. Not, we don't have a chance to play preseason. So all we got is each other to help us, get, help each other get better. And uh, we've been taking full advantage of it. All right, we have time for a few more. Next is Matt Matera. Hey, Levante, thanks for doing this. Obviously, this is a big challenge for the rookies with not having OTAs in this mm -hmm. training camp. So what have you seen from some of the rookies on the defensive side of the ball, particularly Chappelle Russell? Oh, uh, man, no, they're, they're just growing, man. It's growing pains in this. You know, when you come to the league, you know, you get fed a playbook that you may, may not be familiar with, and then you got to get thrown in the fire right away, you know, especially with no preseason game. Uh, those guys got to get all their reps that they can while they're in practice, mental reps, and take advantage of the physical reps that they get. So uh, once you're out there, you have to really lock in and be engaged. And uh, you got to basically grow up even 10 more times than where you were before. You, you don't have to preseason no more. So every chance you get when you're out there with special teams reps or on the field playing defense reps, um, you got to take full advantage of it. And, uh, you know, Chappelle's like, you know, any other rookie man, he's just growing taking it one day at a time, learning his position, learning the ins and outs of his position, and then progressing as he can continue to get better. Uh, all you can do is ask for him right now, just continue to fly around and try to make as many plays as he can. But he's definitely progressing day in and day out. All right, our last question is going to come from Greg Allman. Hey, Levante, I just want to ask you about another newcomer on this team and Shady McCoy. I know you've gone up against him a couple of times over the years. Just what he still has out there and what he's shown you guys in practice so far. Uh, still the same guy, man. Real shifty. Uh, when he gets the ball in the hole, you know, he create different holes. Uh, he's real smooth about the backfield. And uh, he's showing a lot of veteran leadership for the young guys in the, in, 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 uh, in the RB room. And you can see it. Uh, he's engaged with guys. He's talking to guys. And uh, he's still learning like he's a rookie. You know, he's taking asking questions and just being around, just, uh, just trying to, you know, get – familiar with the system and also just being getting familiar with guys in the locker room. Uh, and there's been, you know, real, you know, cherishing to be around and be a part of the, to see that he wants to be around us and he wants to, uh, wants to uh, help us win the championship. And uh, he's still the same guy, man, still nice with the football in his hands. And uh, he's definitely still going to be, he's still a problem. Thanks a lot. All right. That's all for today. Appreciate you taking the time, Levante. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Stay blessed.